Hi, welcome. You're watching SolidWorks Tutorials with Ryan. I'm the Ryan part of it. And in this video, I am going to give you a very quick tip. So it's going to be a short but very valuable video. A lot of beginners have been asking me and are still asking me in comments how they should go about creating different type of bearings in SolidWorks. Bearings are standard stuff, just like bolts and nuts and pins and a lot of other stuff. You should not, ideally, spend your time creating them when you're going to implement them in a big assembly. So you want to spend your time and focus on the stuff that you have to design and leave the standard parts to others. So in this short video, I am going to show you how and where to download your bearings from and easily import it into your SOLIDWORKS. Let's go. Oh, by the way, if you like the video and if you like these type of tips, thumbs up and subscribe. Go to skf.com and go to products on top of the page. You can choose whatever you want, but we are talking about bearings. So we go there and you pick the type of bearings that you like. Once you do that, you will be directed to this page where you see a filtering system on top of the page here and a table with different sizes and variables for this. If you don't see uh, what variable means what, just pick one, go into this page, you can zoom in here and you can take a look at this schematic photo and find out what D capital D means, what does uh, D1 means and etc. Once you pick the right product, you can click on CAD download and then pick SOLIDWORKS uh, versions 2006 plus here if you're using one that is older, obviously you pick the other one and you can download it. Obviously the file would be downloaded as a zip file. So you're, so you're going to have to unzip it and you can open it in SOLIDWORKS. This is a very standard part and you should not be spending more time on that. If you think this video was useful to you, uh, leave it a thumbs up and let me know if you would like to have these short tip videos once in a while on my channel to help you just save some time in your daily modeling. All right, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next week with a different topic. Until then, take care and I'll see you soon.